Welcome to the Camping World's annual kickoff event. It's the Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show at Birmingham's NEC. I'm here with the team from the club's Camping and Caravanning magazine to bring you our pick of the most exciting new innovations in the world of tents, caravans and motorhomes. First up, it's our Candy Evans with the inside line on what's hot in the world of tenting. Thanks, Rob. I've made my way to Hall 5, where some of the new, interesting, new for 2020 tents are in the central camping zone. This is the Hartsville from Outwell. It's a bit too large for a normal club pitch, but it does show two of the Outwell's neat innovations in a single tent for a show price of around £900. These quick and quiet doors could be a boon for people who don't want to wake the rest of the family up if they need to get up in the night. And the wing lounge is a way to squeeze in an extra bit of practical living space. You'll find both of these in other models of Outwell tents here at the show. Also in this area, there are a couple of new tents from Van Gogh created with the National Trust, with the Devon, the smallest, selling for £130. There are some great stories behind the scenes here. Things like the oak leaf decoration that goes right back to the Trust's first property 125 years ago. And the fly sheet fabric was developed specifically for this tent range. It's made from recycled plastic bottles and is part of Van Gogh's company-wide push for a more sustainable future. Here's a name that will be familiar to many who followed tent camping over the years. Litchfield is back. It's a sister brand to the larger Van Gogh, and for 2020 you should be able to buy these smart family tents from your local camping dealer, with prices starting at only just over £300 at the show. It's a whole new field for Litchfield, with a birds of prey theme. The names reflect this, but so does the swoosh on the side, and even the windows are shaped like a bird's eye. Zempire was a new entrant in our Owner Satisfaction Awards this year, winning in the Best Family Tent category. Its Evo range has an interesting twist on the traditional inflatable tube design. Up till now, tents like this have generally been heavy to move, as the tents are an integral part of the structure. But in the Evo, the tubes clip into place so you can carry them separately, making this a bit more manageable. They're also easier to fix if they have a problem, and the tent somehow feels more spacious inside. Prices start from a bit over £600 here at the show for this Evo TM. It'll be interesting to see if this style catches on with other manufacturers. Most tents here at the show are designed for the camping and caravanning club style campsite. But if you're looking for a truly lightweight tent that's also taking advantage of the Airbeam technology, then you might be interested in this from Rango's Project Hydrogen. They've had to develop a brand new valve for its tube that you inflate with a bike pump. But the result is a tent that weighs just 700 grams, made from a siliconized nylon with an inner tent as thin as a dragonfly wing. It's not cheap at around 600 pounds, but you'd expect that for such a technical tent. And finally for me, I'm a bit of a fan of this Quest Stargazer tent. I saw the prototype last year and you'll find a review in March's issue of Camping and Caravanning and it costs only £720 here today. It's a well-priced and stylish 100% cotton tent with a slightly unusual top. There are 12 windows to give you a great view of the sky for stargazing. Let's just hope there are plenty of clear nights this summer so you can make the most of it. Now, it's over to Stuart to see what's new in the camper van world here at the NEC. Some interesting stuff there, Candy. Staying in Hall 5, I've come to have a look at the Volkswagen California 6.1. It's making its UK debut here at the show and it's been brought right up to date both inside and out. For 2020 it's now available in two guises, Ocean and the all new Coast which replaces the previous beach model. The California has been a firm favourite for camper van owners over four generations and to ensure it stays that way VW has brought in touchscreen technology that lets you control functions such as the roof, the heating and the fridge. It'll even tell you if the van's parked on level ground. Both Coast and Ocean models have a 2.0-litre Euro 6 diesel engine and you can get the Ocean model with four-wheel drive if you need it. Prices start at just over £55,000. One of the more eye-catching camper vans here is the Westfalia James Cook. It was actually launched back in the summer of 2019, but it's still turning heads here at the NEC. It's based on the new Mercedes Sprinter, but the most interesting aspect of this conversion is the slide-out rear extension, which means you get a decent bed length inside of more than two metres. 
Prices start at £73,300. Van Tora is a new German campervan brand that arrived in Britain for the first time last year. It's built in Hungary at the Naus factory and sold through South Coast dealer Harbour Creek and it offers a number of layouts on Fiat, Giacato and Peugeot Boxer base vehicles. The models claim greater storage space in the, in the rear boot area which gives room to load a bike thanks to the manually operated drop-down rear bed. An elevating roof is an option for all models such as this 600D which starts at £66,000. If you're a proud camper van owner or buy one here at the show, you might be tempted by the look of this Rally Pro Air tailgate awning from Camper Dometic. It's potentially very handy for anyone with a panel van based camper van, especially if you need more room to the rear of your pitch. A clever pulley system means you can pitch it without the need of a step or a ladder, and its profile means it works with the barn style doors found on many camper van conversions of this type. In fact, anything from about 2.2 metres to 2.75 metres. It's priced £1,250, but can be bought for £980 here at the show. Swift's Base Camp 4, its family version of the successful crossover camping vehicle they launched back in 2016, measures 5.59 metres. It's nearly 50 centimetres longer than the regular Base Camp. The floor plan has been tweaked, the kitchen unit is now on the offside in front of the washroom. On the near side of the rear is a dinette that turns into bunk beds. With the bespoke Van Gogh porch awning attached to the rear of the van, it won't quite fit on a regular club site pitch, but with an MTPLM of 1161 kilos, it's still towable by a VW Golf sized tow car by drivers with just the B entitlement on their license. Prices start at 19480 and the club has also joined forces with Swift to give away a base camp for. This one's adorned with a custom design by the world-renowned graffiti artist Paris as part of the club's No B plus E license, No Problem campaign. This will run through the camping season. Simply visit the club's competitions page on its website to take part. Camping Cinema is a portable cinema package that means you can watch your favourite movie show outdoors on a big screen on your camping break. A pack for a couple, which includes a projector and tripod, a padded bag, power chargers, a 60-inch projection screen and tripod, memory stick and DVD software will set you back a little over a thousand pounds. And what's more, to avoid upsetting the neighbours, you get two pairs of these cool headphones. So it looks like it's movie night and popcorn for me. So Collapse is a new brand that has designed a range of collapsible products made from eco-friendly material that compacts down for storage. I particularly like these 45 litre fresh and wastewater containers. They connect to proper adapters to your van's wastewater outlets and they are mounted to a trolley and are easy to drain and clean inside. Also, I want you to check out this special trunk which attaches to the on-site fresh water tap which makes it for easier filling of containers. It's a really smart and simple solution. And finally, there's this seven-in-one cutlery piece. Got a fork, a spoon, serrated edge knife, regular knife, uh, tongs and chopsticks. So one more thing of interest, Marquis, the UK's largest caravan and motorhome dealer network, has launched an interesting campaign to promote its majestic dealer special range of motorhomes. It's called Free the Lion. So simply snap a picture of yourself with the lion on the stand here at the show, share it on social media with the hashtag Free the Lion and tag Marquis, and you get to win one of these stuffed lions. So far, they tell us it's been a roaring success. The Bailey Alicanto Grande range of eight foot wide touring caravans launched in autumn 2019, but the Bristol-based manufacturers held back this fourth and most interesting model to launch here at the NEC show. This is the twin axle Faro. It's a four berth like the other models in the range, but it's at the rear where it's different. There's a central washroom on the near side. Now, when it's in use, there's no issue moving from the massive rear transverse island bedroom to the kitchen and lounge. When that washroom's not in use, the door provides privacy for the end bedroom. Like the rest of the range, it's heavily specified with Audi's wet central heating, a 100 watt solar panel, and external connections for satellite TV, a gas barbecue, and 230 volt electric. But it's not cheap, a shade under 30,000 pounds. And finally, if you're visiting the show over the weekend, be sure to drop in at the club stand here in Hall 5, meet the team and discover how to get more out of your club membership. Happy camping and caravanning. Enjoy the show.